just want to kind of go back over with you guys again, is again to identify what the, what the limit is. I'm sorry, these are going to be at negative 3. What we can do is just choose smaller, smaller numbers that are really, really close. So rather than doing a whole table like we did, just pick one value that's really, really close. So from the left-hand side, uh, we need to pick a value that's more negative than negative 3. So if I plugged in negative 3.001 and then negative 3.001 squared minus 9. So from the left-hand side, again, and we're only caring about signs. In the numerator, is going to be a positive or negative number? Negative. In the denominator, if you have a number that's now larger than 3, right? Would you guys agree? This number squared is going to be larger than negative 3 squared. Not by much, but it is. So that's not larger than 3 squared. So then minus 9 is going to give you a positive number. So if you have a negative divided by a positive, that's now going to be a, it's going to go towards negative infinity, which we were able to confirm in our table, as well as confirm in our graph. If you look at from the positive side, let's choose a value that's just to the right of negative 3. So negative 2.999. Okay. Again, our numerator is negative. In our denominator, we have a number smaller than 3 squared. So a number smaller than negative 3, sorry, negative 3 squared, minus 9 is going to give us a negative, which will tell us it's going to go to positive infinity. So therefore, without even knowing what the graph looks like, without even knowing to graph it or with the table, I can just pick values and use their signs to help me determine what the left and right hand behavior is going to be of those limits. Yes? OK. So again, if we can't find the exact value, if they, we can't use that exact same limit, then pick numbers.